If you've been following Billcam for a while, you would have gotten used to our wireframing technique. There are many advantages to wireframing before you start fully designing your page. I'm going to show you some of these benefits. So what are we looking at here? On the top in blue, we have my wireframed hero section. And on the bottom, well, we have the finished design. Now, default groups in Bubble are transparent. So we've come up with a way to use groups to be able to show us where our nested groups are and what our layout actually looks like. And this is very, very advantageous because if we didn't use these slightly transparent groups and then nested groups within groups, we'd kind of be building blind to a degree. The other thing I tend to do is when I'm creating layouts, which should be the first step you take when designing a page, you have to lay the foundations of the house before you put up the paintings, before you paint. So I just tend to use lorem ipsum wherever I can, just so I can sort out the layout without having to think about what the text should be saying without sitting on Unsplash looking for images. I know that I'm going to have an image on the right. I know I'm going to have text on the left-hand side with a button, with a call to action button. Therefore, I very quickly create my wireframe first, make sure it works responsibly first. Once that is all sorted, then I go off and I add the actual design elements and I change the wireframe groups back to transparent groups. Why don't we go ahead and design this and I can show you my process. Okay, I've set up a page container layout column and I have 80 pixels of row gap. I'm going to drop in my parent group first. Okay, group parent. Now, I have already set up my wireframe group style, but let's jump in and have a look at the settings here. So it's flat color. The color I use is 0066FF. I've actually updated this color recently. Why don't we use the updated color? 0000FF. All right, more sort of a purple. And that's got 10% opacity. And that's what's key because as you layer groups within groups, the darker the group, the more deeply nested that group is. And that's it. So you set up a new style called a wireframe. Once you're done with your wireframes, well, you simply just switch it back to a default group. Let's keep it at a wireframe for now. So I know I want a column, two column layout, uh, left column and right column with the right column being an image, left column being text. So I know that this has to be a row. Okay, that needs to be full width. And I don't care about the min width because this is just a single column at the moment. I'm gonna give myself some space to work within to set that to 600. It's going to push this down from the top a little bit. And I'm going to set left, right padding of 40 and 40. Okay. Now for the left-hand column, that's also going to be a group. And this is where the wireframe start to shine because I can just say, change the style to wireframe. Boom. I can see what I'm doing now. So this will be called group left. This is going to be a column because it's going to be hero text, subtext, and a row beneath that. It's not going to be fixed width. Min width will be 280. And I'm going to set the min height to 400 just for now. I'm going to grab some text, drop it in there. This will say lorem ipsum. This is going to be 72 pixels. This is majorly important, folks. I'm just uh, trying to take you through the process of a start to finish from a wireframe to a finished product. This is my process. Okay, that will be on its own row. Uh, I'm going to copy and paste. And this text, uh, I've got some more lorem there. I'm just going to make that 20. And then beneath that, I have another group. Okay, another group. What are we going to do? Well, wireframe. This group will be edge to edge and it will be a row because I'll have a button on the left, text on the right. No min width and the min height, I'm going to leave that for a second. 
Okay, let's set up some space here. So add row gap, I'm going to say add 40, and then add some padding. I'm just going to say 40 all the way around, box it in nicely. Perfect. Let's finish off this design. I'm going to draw a button in there that will just say lorem. I'm going to make this 120 by 60. Perfect. And then next to it, I'm going to have some text. And this will say lorem ipsum. So this could be your alternate button. And that will just be 16. Not fixed width, no min width, no min height, and put it in the middle. Okay, so in terms of this group here, well, I don't need a min height, so I'm going to remove that. The height will be determined by this button. And then in the group itself, I'm going to add some column gap of uh, 40, separate those two. All right, let's go back to the parent now. Group parent is a row, so if I drop in an image, it'll push to the right-hand side. There it is there, that's the image. Now in terms of wireframing with images, I just tend to add just a blue block, just some blue color. So I'm going to drop in, I'm going to drop in the URL for you. So this is a service called Placeholder. What's nice about this is, you know, I want to use an image element because an image element reacts responsibly different to a group. So I do want an image placeholder here. Okay, so here's a URL. If you want to have a look, it's via.placeholder.com. Then you set up the dimensions, which actually don't matter because the dimensions are determined by the image element in bubble. And then you can set up the color of the background. Uh, let's do that now. Let's change that as well as the color of the text within. Zero, zero. And you can see it's saying 60 by 60 in there. So to change the text placeholder text to the same color as the background boom there we go all right so not fixed width you can see that it divides the columns in two now or this row in two columns i'm going to set a min width okay of 280 uh, and i'm going to use an aspect ratio of 4 3 which most cameras spit out a 4 3 ratio so min width of 280 now I'm going to go across to the left-hand group and also set a min width of 280. Okay, I can see I've done that. The reason being is we have 280 plus 40 on the end is 320. If you follow Bill Camp, you'll know all about the 420, the 320 rule. Okay, now back on the parent group, I can remove the min height because it's determined by this image on the right-hand side. And boom, now we have a wireframe. We can see there's our 40 pixels of padding here. So now on the responsive tab, we can go ahead and play with this design. Make sure that it's breaking at 640, which it does because of our min width of 280. Okay, and then for this image, I'm just going to center it. And there we go. We're pretty much done on this. Obviously, it's just rough. The, the objective here is to show you the wireframe, the wireframing method, okay? And then what I do is, once I've done with that, I can just see a small issue here. I'm going to center that in the middle. Okay. And then once I'm done with that, and I'm happy with my overall wireframe, and by the way, that would be the full page is created this way. No bells and whistles, no distractions, no sitting on Unsplash or Shutterstock, no trying to write copy. This is just layout. I want it to work responsibly before I go any further. Then I would add my images, put the paint in the walls, whack up the paintings, finish the house. So I've got my image in. This will say smartwatch. This will say perhaps maybe products. This could say learn more. You can see how fast this process is once the wireframing is set up. And then in terms of the wireframing, all we do is go back, default group, please. Default group, default group, and we're basically done. Back on the layout, I'm just gonna add a 1440 max width and whack it in the center. 
and then we could basically preview and there we have it so you can see that this method is really fast i went into the responsive editor once basically because I don't need to. I'm using wireframes. I understand the build cam method, the 320 rule. I understand my min width. I actually know what the result is going to be like. Whenever I build, I'll spend 1% of my time in the responsive editor. So wireframing is key uh, and you should adopt the same method. Now we run a bootcamp called FlexCamp and this is where we go into a lot more depth about uh, wireframing, responsive, de responsive design and that kind of thing. So uh, have a look at the description below and I'll see you soon.